In this video, I'm going to talk about XPath in SSIS. XPath allows you to extract section of XML data, a particular node values or particular elements. For example, if you look at this XML file, this is one book element and this is another book element and this is the third book element. There are three book elements in this XML file. You wanted to retrieve second book element in this bookstore, in this XML file. We can use XPath. Or if you want to retrieve just the first name, author's first name of this book, then we can use XPath, XPath in that case. Okay. So let us create a package. and click toolbox and drag the XML task. And we need to select the operation type as XPath. We need to give the input XML file here. So select the existing file. I, I created X, XML file from Microsoft site. If you go to this URL msdn.microsoft.com Microsoft has provided the XML file. So I copied this XML file and this is that XML file and I'm going to use that XML file in this example. So select that XML file. So this will be our source XML file and we are going to apply XPath operation to get the section of code. And we want to, we wanted to correct the output file. Say true here, and the operation result and output file So this will be our output file. It will contain the XPath output. So every time when we run, we want to overwrite that output file. Say true for the overwrite destination field. And second operand, we don't need to, uh, yeah, we need to specify the XPath language. For example, we wanted to retrieve all the books, book elements from this XML file. For that, we can say, okay and here for the xpath operation either we can say nodes list or values if you say node list then it will give all the book nodes in that xml file if you say values then it will it will give the values of the of the book nodes for every book element the it will retrieve the values so we'll select node list and this option is put result in one node. If you, if, you, if you say true, then it will put all the book elements in one node. So I'm going to say false for time being. Later I will show uh, if we make it as a true and if I run the package, then it will put all the elements in one node. Okay, here this is the input file and we are storing the export output in the output.xml output .xml file and we are we want to retrieve all the book elements book nodes in that xml file and we want to collect all the nodes as it is okay run the package package failed okay We need to use the forward slash, not the backward slash. That's the issue. Sorry for that. Let's take a look at the output file. 
and this is the output file that xpath has created as you can see it retrieved all the book elements book notes from the input file so there are three book notes as you can see here and this is the original input xml file that we have given to the xpath operation so this is the root element and these are the sub elements under that so this is second book and this is the third book so it just retrieved the three book elements from that and dumped in the output file okay now instead of node list we wanted the values of the node we wanted to we wanted the values of the book element that's the only change i'm doing it here if i run the package again okay as you can see it just retrieved the values of those elements in some cases this is useful but in this example it doesn't make much sense but you got the point okay let's go back to the package and say uh, okay i'm changing the value to the node list and here put result in one node if i say true then you see what it does okay i'm executing the package as you can see it retrieved the book elements and it has created one big one node result root node it has put everything in in that node so for example if you are creating a, a text file you can just pass this entire string or entire uh, content to that flat file and you can create xml file okay so it will be useful in that case but you got the point that it will create one node and it will put all the extracted data under that node okay that's what the options meant by and uh, here you can specify any condition you want for example in this case i said i wanted to retrieve all the book elements in the xml file you can say show me the uh, last uh, book element in the xml file for that you can say last this i will set it as false okay i wanted to retrieve the last book element in the xml file this is what this is how you need to specify and there are plenty of syntax export syntax you can go to microsoft msd inside and there is plenty of uh, uh, op commands and this is one such command to get the last book value so if i ex execute the package it retrieve the book style equal to novel and id equal to my fave as you can see this is the last book element in the xml file okay let us try some other examples if you say one it will retrieve the first book element okay this will be this is the first book element style equal to autobiography and yeah this is the one as you can see here let's look into some other examples here for example if i want to retrieve the book element whose style attribute value equal to textbook
okay that means we wanted to retrieve the book element whose style attribute equal to textbook we wanted to retrieve this element okay As we can see that it just retrieved the second element. To retrieve the book element whose price element value is 55. To do that, Okay. Retrieve the book element whose price value equal to 55. So we wanted to retrieve this. It should extract this section in the output file. Okay. For example, if we change this to 55, then it should extract this and this both. Okay. That's pretty much it, XPath. Oh, by the way, we need to discuss about for each loop container here because we have the XPath uh, usage in this container. Let me show you what I'm talking about. For time being, disable this. So for each loop, here if you go to collection, as you can see, for each node list enumerator. Okay, in the XPath, we can say this will be this is our input file, and if you say retrieve the first names of all the authors from this XML file and loop through for each first name. Okay, in that case. select the node list and a document source will be file give the input file here bookstore first name okay so we are looping through the first name element we'll collect the first name in a variable we'll define the variable here okay this will be string value and for each first name will store it in the variable okay the the variable starts from the index starts from zero okay and inside the for each loop container we will just display the the variable the value in the variable okay for that uh, we need to use script task the script task we will use uh, visual basic code and we will we will pass this value sorry we will pass this variable to the script so that script can use that and display and click edit script
here you say msg box this is the input SSS variable that we passed okay we are just displaying the variable save it so build is succeeded And now, if you run the package, it displayed Joe. So, Joe will be the first author name. And next author name is Mary. As you can see, this is the next first name. And after that, it should display Tony. Oh, there is one more Mary. Okay, here. This is, this is one more first name here. Brittany, okay, there is one more. Tony, okay. This is how we can we can extract the list of nodes from a XML file using the XPath, and we can loop through that, and we can do some processing, okay.